And we begin with this story that so many people are talking about. Someone shot a 32 year old man inside his home, but we don't know who pulled the trigger. Good evening, I'm Leslie Foster. Our team has noticed a lot of people posting about this man on social media. So we spent the night trying to get some answers on the case. Our Casey Nolan is live at the Fairfax City Police Department where detectives are working to piece this together. And Casey, I guess the first question really is, no new about this investigation and do police have any suspects here? Well, if they do, they, they aren't saying so publicly, Leslie. I can tell you that police have not said much publicly at all about the details of this case. We did learn that over the weekend there was an autopsy that confirmed that this was a homicide. Greg Glier was murdered. I can also tell you that in radio transmissions from police between officers and dispatch that the wife we're told, as according to dispatchers, it was his wife that called 911 and reported someone had broken into the back door, broken in through the back door of their home. Neighbors tell me that, well, there have been police in the neighborhood quite a bit over the last month and a half because someone has been going around the neighborhood breaking into cars. But so far, police say in this case, there is not a threat to the wider community, and that's about all they are saying, Leslie. Yeah, we know that Gret Glier's death has shocked a lot of people who knew him. What are you learning about him? He's, he was a husband and a father for sure. Well, yeah, he was, a, he was a man with a passion for helping people in poverty. He wrote in a book a few years ago that a trip to Africa in the ninth grade changed his life. He went on to found a company, Donor C was the name of it. It helped people donate, it helped nonprofits raise money, specifically in many cases, to help those living in poverty. Yeah, he's done so much to help other people and, and people have heard about uh, Gret's death and, and now want to help his wife and his two young children. So what can you tell us about that effort? Yeah, you know, it's been about three days since he was killed and already in that short amount of time, there is a GoFundMe that has raised more than $100,000 for his wife and two kids. There's another uh, fundraiser going on at the same time through his company that's raised more than $40,000 on top of that. So a lot of people wanting to help this family. His family has not said anything publicly so far. A close friend of his did post earlier today something that I, it stuck out to me. He said, Gret's heart was with the poor and the needy, and he did more to help them immediate giving them immediate assistance than a hundred other good intentioned NGOs nonprofits combined. So a man that helped a lot of people and now Leslie, a lot of people want to help his family. He clearly had a lot of impact. All right, Casey Nolan, thank you for that reporting.